Hi everybody, welcome on in. My name is Cats of the Deville and I'm going to be sharing on this new series whether or not I think a TV show or a movie on the different streaming platforms is going to be worth a subscription and or trial. So if you see a show on Netflix, Hulu, HBO, Paramount Plus, things like that, and you want to know, hey, Cats, see you take on it, I would absolutely love to take a quick watch and make a video on it. So I would love to start off with something that I had a lot of passion for when I was watching it get started. And that would be Sailor Moon Crystal. I love Sailor Moon. Honestly, I grew up with Sailor Moon and Sailor Moon was like legitimately my jam. When I was a kid, me and other kids used to play and I would always have to be uh, Queen Barrel, and it was always, uh, it was always a good time, and honestly, I love it. And so, if you have a lot of nostalgia for the original Sailor Moon, but you just always wished that they would, you know, get a little bit deeper in regards to Uranus and Neptune, and with having more, um, more transparency over being gender fluid, or feeling like the baddies just they never really got into the lore of the enemies fear not sailor moon crystal has got you covered they have so much lore in this show it is incredible it is currently available both on hulu and netflix it, when it first came out it was hulu exclusive and now there is both Sailor Moon Crystal and Sailor Moon Eternal. I know for a fact that uh, Sailor Moon Eternal, which is the movie, is on Netflix. But I would definitely rate this. Uh, I would rate this an 11 out of 10. And I would definitely say that this show is worth getting both a subscription and potentially using a free trial to watch it, binge it, and you know. Honestly, if I had gotten a, a trial and forgotten to cancel my subscription, it would be worth it for this show. It would be worth it for this show. Doesn't matter who you prefer to go with. I'm not sure if, uh, if who has Sailor Moon Eternal. So if you really want to see all three seasons plus Eternal, Netflix might be your jam. But the thing that I love was the fact that with Uranus, they had, you know, Sailor Moon, who was like, oh, you're beautiful. Are you man? Are you woman? And they were like, man, woman, does it matter? And Sailor Moon is like, wow. I, I guess it doesn't matter. And I just really love how they have a very open, candid relationship with gender identity in this show. Because it's not only a main character in the heroines that like to, uh, you know, fight crime and save the world. They also have one of the evil people who has a great, like, understanding of gender fluidness. So sometimes they were dressed up masculine, sometimes they were dressed up kind of feminine, sometimes they were in a dress with short hair. It just really didn't matter. They were just really experiencing themselves just like however they wanted to be themselves and it was really great. But I really thought that everything about the show series was really good, really A+. Plus. I, I feel like I got to experience something from my childhood while experiencing something new. So if you've never seen the original Sailor Moon, it's okay. You don't have to see the original Sailor Moon because Sailor Moon Crystal starts over from the beginning. Starts from the beginning. There's lots of things that feel familiar or feel the same from the original, such as like the first like two, two to six episodes kind of feel carbon copy-ish, but not, not too bad. After you start getting past the introductions and start getting into the lore, you're going to see that there is so little that overlaps between the two stories. You don't feel like you're watching the same thing, but in a different art style all over again after the first few episodes. But I would say, again, again, I would say that this is definitely worth getting a subscription for and getting a free trial for. Uh, it's three seasons and then a movie. 
each episode is, I don't know, like 20, 25 minutes, something around there. And it just, it doesn't have the same slapping opening with the guitar rift that just goes way, way overboard. Like, nobody needed, no, nobody, nobody gave Sailor Moon the original the right to have such a good guitar in the opening. But they went for it. And I am here for it. And I really wish that they would give that same energy to the new one. Editing Cat here. I just wanted to uh, say it doesn't have the same slapping guitar. But it does heckin' open up with some amazing guitar. I'm gonna give that a plus. Alright. Thanks for your time. Okay. But honestly, Sailor Moon Crystal, so good. So good. But the art that you see that I have a speed art here of is a time lapse of a commission that I did for one of my commissioners. And I appreciate them for allowing me to share my artwork that I have done for them. I will have additional information about how to get your time lapse below. Featured on one of our fancy Friday movie reviews. But we're going to have a movie or show review every week on Fridays. So that way when you want to know, hmm, what's new? What could I watch? Have no fear, Katzi is here. And you get to take a quick sneak peek at the different art that I do. And as a final note, thank you so much for my Patreon subscribers. Currently we have three subscribers amazing thank you so much i appreciate your love and support and thank you everybody who is giving kofis to be able to support what we do here and thank you so much to my community each and every one of you is wonderful all right everybody see you next friday